Ähm, weiter geht's mit einem Redebeitrag auf Englisch ähm, vom Alarmphone. Mohamed al kashef Hello everyone. Actually, it's it's a very sad moment that we are here just uh, struggling and asking for uh, keep the rescue going at the sea when people just lose their lives. Uh, and we see all this uh, repression against uh, the NGO efforts and the people efforts just to rescue lives. That, that all the people is asking for, not as uh, media and propaganda just representing that like people uh, helping or NGOs helping smuggling people, no, just people on move. And here we try just to rescue their lives, not to let them die at sea, not to build cemeteries, open cemeteries at sea, when we don't know even how many people die. Like so far this year, the people reached Italy from Central Mediterranean with a big headache on the European politicians' head. 21,000 people. And over 1,700 people lost their lives. The percentage like 7 or 8 percent. Comparing to the last years, it's, it's nothing. Where is the crisis that they are telling us about? Like comparing to 2016, not even 2015, 2016 or last year, we are here discussing 20 1,000 people just arrived. We as Alarm Phone working as a distress line, people reach it when they are in distress situation to start contact the, the actors, the, the state actors, the different people responsible for uh, rescue. Actually, recently also, because of this repression against NGO vessels at sea, we face difficulties. Like when we call like Italian MRCC, they withdrew the responsibility to Maltese and nowadays to Libyans. And because of the war at Libya, they are not, <laughs> they have no free time <laughs> to operate and rescue people. People lose their lives. Not just in the central Mediterranean, the situation actually at the Mediterranean from east, from Aegean to west in the Atlantic Ocean is horrible. A few weeks ago, 52 people between Algeria and Morocco and was in, in, was in, in, at, at the sea and they lost their lives, we lost the contact with them, we don't know anything and then by time, uh, dead bodies started to retrovive and, and even the Moroccan stated that a cup size of 52 uh, people died. Just in silence, no one talked. And also just before, more than 100 people lost their lives at sea. We just, not helping or supporting, we, we just trying to keep these people alive. People flee from war, from conflict zones. They are looking just for normal life, safe life. No one, no one will take a decision consciously to leave home, to leave family, to forget everything about their memories, their friends, and, and just start a new life. And then we claim that they are economical migrants. They are uh, just escaping from difficult uh, financial situation. No, sorry. I see people in my country, they can suffer the poverty and the economical situation and they don't flee, not because of the border security, but because of that. Because you, your feelings towards your home, not the country, not the nationality, but the home, was every meaning of that. Actually, I, I, we have numbers, we have figures, we do a lot of cases, but I started to hate just to represent people as numbers, as figures. They are human beings and deserve to, to, to live a life. 
Actually, when I compare in my head between the situation here after the World War II and people just escaped the war and even wretched United States and they went to Middle East and North African countries and different countries. So, what the difference? The human being, since the beginning of history that we know, moving around and mobilizing. So what's the problem now? We are talking about which crisis? The new people are coming to here, affecting in, in our society, in our economical situation. They will take my bite. No, sorry. That's not true. That's so selfishness. Thanks.